Hello, Lobos. It is currently <clears throat> 6.30 p.m. I just got back from some drop-in soccer at Rocky Mountain High School. It is freezing outside. So, um, if you are going outside, uh, when the sun goes down, I recommend a heavier jacket than this because I can't feel my hands very well. Um, so, after soccer, I was hungry. So, I decided to go to McDonald's. And I looked at their menu, and I saw a crispy chicken sandwich. It was, like, highlighted, the big ones in the promo section. And I was like, wait, McDonald's has chicken? I didn't know this. I knew they had that filet -O fish thing, but that looks gross, so I don't think I'll try that. But <clears throat> I went ahead and got the buttermilk crispy, they call it. I usually get two cheeseburgers and a large drink for the easy price of $3.63, over at the one on Harmony and College. But I wanted to try this chicken sandwich. And I got a large drink with it as well, a Coke. McDonald's has better Coke than other places for some reason. I'm more of a Pepsi kind of guy, but McDonald's Coke for some reason, delicious. So what did this cost, you may ask? Um, Six sixty-three for the both. No fries, unfortunately. Fries would probably be an extra two bucks. They do have delicious fries, but two dollars is a lot of money. So, it gave me an idea to <clears throat> make a tier list of all the chicken sandwiches in Colorado. So, over the next few weeks, I will be eating this one. I'll try Chick-fil-A. I've had that one many times. Love it there. Haven't had Cane's, the sandwich. I usually go for a box combo, but I will try it. If KFC has one, I will try it. If maybe like Culver's. Culver's probably has one. I'll try that. There's a Culver's off on LeMay if you don't know that. And eventually I will make the trip over to Popeye's and get their sandwich. I've never had it, but I will try it. And maybe a Comet chicken sandwich. And we will make a master list in the next few weeks. So, without further ado, we will get right into this guy. So, presentation-wise, looking pretty nice. Um, we got the, the chicken, of course, looks nice and crispy. We got some tomatoes and lettuce in there, and I believe there's some mayo ranch sauce or something like that. So, we'll, we'll give it a try. Mm. You know, that caught me by surprise, actually. I thought that was going to be a lot worse. I thought the chicken wasn't going to be moist at all because I hate dry chicken. Dry chicken might be top 10 worst food in the world. Dry chicken is very disgusting. Dry poultry or like dry pork. Dry anything. Unless it's like a Slim Jim or beef jerky. But... To my surprise, the chicken had a nice, crispy, salty outside. Um, kind of reminds me of KFC's chicken. That flavor and the sauce, the lettuce and the tomato. Great, great addition to that bite there. Um, I wish the bun was a little crunchier. <clears throat> I like toasted buns usually, but it's McDonald's. Um, what are you going to expect? But so far, this Mick Buttermilk... Pretty delicious. I'm going to go ahead and take another bite. Mm. You know, this might be Chick-fil-A's. Just because of the sauce. I don't think it'll be Cane's because of the sauce, because Cane's sauce is elite. But this is a great start to this chicken fest we're going to go on. We'll call it chicken fest. Um, hmm. Yeah, very surprising. Um, it probably tastes better than my normal two cheeseburgers in a large drink, but it is double the price. You got to think of that financially. I am... I. 
I, I enjoyed those two bites. I'm going to rate final, final rating for this 7.5 out of 10. So, <clears throat> we are hitting the five-minute mark. I know you guys probably have things to do. So, I hope you all have a lovely week. And we'll see you next week for Chick-fil-A and Canes. I'll probably mix into one video. Have a good week, Lobos.